refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never shut, shut up, up Harry. Uh, must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Delighted to be joined here at Camden Boxing Club. It's the start of fight week. Yourself, Tennessee Fresh versus Kaki Pagey. Just uh, first of all, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Very well, thank you. Um, first of all, I must say, for someone who hasn't been boxing for that long, you're looking quite sharp on the pads, so you've clearly been putting on the work, in the work. Yeah, I've been working very hard. Uh, I spoke to Paige, and um, she's kind of said about everything with the podcast that we know, we knew what happened anyway, but from your perspective, just how personal is it? It's personal, but to be honest, now to me it's just a, it's just a game that I need to win really. Like, I'm not going to take all my personal feelings into the ring with me because that would just be stupid. I'm just going to treat it like how I've been treating the last eight weeks, box my best and that's it. I don't know if you see, you might have been in the ring, but Kimji and Belzy really went for each other uh, earlier. Really? Yeah, proper, but uh, could we see the same with you throughout the week? No, I'm not going to start anything with her. If she comes to me, like... Don't like actually stay away from me, weirdo. But no, I'm not gonna come to her. After the fight, do you think it'll be the beef settled? Probably not, because I think she clearly is very personal more to her. I think she'll be very upset, like when I win. From your perspective, then, at that podcast, what did happen, and what happened after we were the tweet? Her girlfriend was staring at me the whole time, giving me like the eyes. And then I just spoke about it, and the girlfriend didn't even say anything, but Paigey decided that she needed to come to the defence. And now look, it hasn't, well, it has worked out well for her, because she's getting paid. See, her uh, fiancé, I think, now, uh, was yeah. was here today. Did you see her? Did uh, did she look at you? <laughs> Not in that way, but... Well, I don't know, I wasn't even looking. Could it be awkward between you two during the week? No. From a fight perspective, then, how has camp gone? Camp's gone great, like, I've really enjoyed it. It's been tough, like, twice a day training. Some days I'm like, I don't even know if this is for me, but no, I've really enjoyed it. It feels good now, it's like, oh, it actually is all paying off for something. I think I heard you say in an interview with Misfits that you've done track running before. Yeah. So, from a training standpoint, was it easier to make that adjustment from track to boxing? No, it was ten times harder. Oh, really? Ten times harder. Like, it was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life this eight weeks. Do you think it'll be a thing you continue? Yeah, for sure. Have you spoke to Mam Sailor and... We know it's thriving, the female division there. I'll just see you speaking to El Brook, who's kind of at the forefront of that. Yeah. But you want to put your name in there past Saturday night? Yeah, 100%. I want my name to be a name, like, to remember in terms of female influencer boxing. Last one, then. It's obviously the Wednesday. Can I get a prediction from you? For what? For your fight on Saturday night. Well, I think I'm going to win. <laughs> you going to knock her out? No. Well, if I knock her out, I knock her out. But I'm not going in there like, I'm going to knock her out. I'm just going to win. She seems to believe I'm not even able to box, but I think now she knows that this is going to be a lot harder than she anticipated. Excellent, Tennessee. Thank you very much for being to IFL TV and best of luck on Saturday night. Because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never shut up, Harry. It uh, must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day.